So, welcome back to another Thursday on The Pink Perspective. I'm your Thursday host, Yucca. And this week we've been talking about tarot year, tarot year cards. Um, so I've been out in the garden for the last couple of hours because it's finally become cool enough um, and the breeze feels incredible, but unfortunately I'm worrying that that might be messing up the mic a little bit. So I do apologize if that's the case. It's too dark to film inside though. So if I don't film now, then I'm going to lose the light entirely. But our topic comes from Essence Raven Sage, who writes, I love working with my tarot gear card to focus on strengthening myself and aspects of my life within the realm of that card. For instance, this year is justice for me. So I'm using this year to focus on balance in every aspect of my life. Do you do the same? Why or why not? And if so, has it helped you grow and how? I don't take it literally, just a nice push to help me in certain areas, organizing myself year by year to work on different areas. I love you all and appreciate the time and effort you put into this channel for us viewers each and every week. Much love and bright blessings. Um, so thank you, first off. Um, but to go to the question, I had actually not heard of this before the question, so I looked it up and, you know, Google did a little bit of Googling. So obviously it's not something that I personally do. Um, and the reason is that there are a lot of tools, um, and tarot is one of them, and it's, it's one that I've never connected with, really. You know, I've flipped through some books, and I've known people who've been really, really into it, but it's just not clicked for me. Um, so, you know, tools that have clicked have been things like meditation and grounding, visualization, um, shamanic journeying, uh, doing some, you know, being outside, uh, working with the wheel of the year, things like that. that those are tools that have worked for me. Um, one of the things that I think is really awesome though is how many different tools are out there and how many different frameworks people can use to help themselves with whatever their goal, whatever their practice or path is. Um, so what you're describing here sounds really cool and I had never really, I've never focused on an entire year. For me, I, I follow more of the seasons and sort of themes throughout what each season is doing. Um, you know, like spring of a time of planting, summer of growth, and you know, harvest in the fall and rest in the winter, and you know, that kind of cyclical. Um, and I haven't really looked at themes until after the year has been done. So I think it's um, really interesting to think about the whole year in that that broader perspective um, of the year. So I'm very, I'm going to have to give this more thought and uh, thank you for bringing this to our attention. Um, so the, the third part of the question was, if so, has it helped you grow and how? So obviously because it's not something that I'd heard of before doing this topic, it's not something that I have used, but I'll be giving it a, I'll be giving it thought. Um, as I just mentioned. So, yeah, I think that's what I have to offer this week, and um, thank you for your question and your very kind words. So we'd love to hear uh, if any of you who are watching this have experience or use a similar type of tool, let us know in the comments below, and see you next week.